Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today is grocery haul day and I have a massive, massive haul for you. Over $500, I went to Costco, I went to Kroger, so I have a lot. If you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. That is how I've lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching to ask questions for accountability or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So we have a massive haul. Let's jump in. So we're starting out this massive haul with Costco. So I did my Costco stock up. It has been a couple of months and I needed quite a few things. I will have to go to Sam's Club in the next few weeks as well, but here is what I picked up from Costco. First thing is the trash bags. We really like these scented ones. They smell really, really good. You can't beat the price of household things at Costco. It is our go-to for trash bags, paper towels, toilet paper, all of the above. I also got my makeup remover wipes. I love these, I buy these every time I go to Costco. I use these when I do swatches for my beauty channel or if I need to take makeup off, these are fantastic. I like them because they're really wet. So there's a good amount of product in there. And then I have been loving canned green beans. I don't know, I'm on a green bean kick. And this is only $10. So I thought that is an amazing, amazing deal. I've been eating green beans pretty regularly. Also, I wanted to pick up some almonds for a good healthy fat fiber protein snack. This was $8.50 for this huge bag of dry roasted almonds. This was new to me. There were two different ones. There was one that had sweet potatoes and cranberries and pecans. And then there was this Tuscan vegetables. This is carrots, butternut squash, red onion, Brussels sprouts, red peppers, kale, and cannellini beans. Perfectly roasted with olive oil and herbs. It sounds really, really good. Nice clean ingredients, fully cooked. You can throw it in the air fryer, in a skillet. I thought it would make a really good dinner side. And then this is something I always pick up. It was actually on coupon for $7.50 for two, which is an incredible deal. Troy eats a lot of pepperoni. He makes a lot of pepperoni wraps and little pizzas and quesadillas. So I grabbed the two pack. And then I really like this cheese, this four different kinds of cheese. Also less than $9 and there's 40 slices, Swiss, Colby Jack, cheddar, and Monterey Jack. This is the dishwasher detergent that we use. It's my favorite. It's it's very effective in cleaning your dishes. And this is the gel from Cascade. This is one of Troy's favorite things in the whole world. I think it's disgusting, but he loves it. This is the four bean salad, $9 for two jars. So I actually got him four jars. I know. I know it's early for Christmas, but listen, this was $9.99 for four Christmas soaps and yummy Christmas scents. There's holly berry, spiced orange, balsam fir, and vanilla cinnamon. And I love the old school, old world Christmas design. <laughs> Can you guys hear Palmer, a little turd? Anyways, I got those. I'm just gonna put them away for Christmas. Mouthwash, because we were completely out, I bought the Kroger brand of mouthwash, do not love, so I was very excited to get my Listerine. And then you guys know I made those canned chicken nuggets. They were fantastic. I'm literally obsessed with them. Why are you whining? There is nothing for you. No, there's not. I'll give you something when I'm done. And you too, Nuggy, okay? So back to our regular scheduled program. I bought a six pack of canned chicken breast because I need to make those again. And you can also make pizza crust out of canned chicken. So I'm excited to try a few new recipes. And then this is Troy's favorite bread. I also like this bread as well. It is it has quinoa, spelt, rye, millet, and barley, but it's a white bread. So he doesn't know that there's all these healthy things in there. He just thinks it's a white bread. It's 110 calories a slice. It has two grams of fiber and three grams of protein and 10 grams of whole grains. I don't eat a ton of bread, but I will eat this one just because it's a nice clean ingredient option. Tylenol was on sale and we were just about out. So I picked up a refill and then I'm going to start taking vitamin C as we move into the colder months and the chewable vitamin C was also on coupon. You already know. 
Chobani Zero Sugar Yogurt, my all-time favorite. So I picked that up. This is the Big 16 pack. I eat yogurt every single day, and this is just a much more affordable option. I also got the Organic Greek Plain Non-Fat Yogurt as well because I've been liking mixing protein powder in with yogurt and making kind of a mousse-like consistency packed with protein, and this is $5. Such a fantastic deal. And then I was almost out of minced garlic. I went through a huge one of these from Sam's Club in just a few months, so I restocked that. It was also on coupon. And then for marinara, I was gonna get Rayo's, but they had the Kirkland brand, organic marinara. It's only 70 calories a serving, so less calories than Rayo. Still has two grams of protein, nice clean ingredients, and it's organic. So I thought that was a better deal. I wanna say it was 10 or $11, which is about half the price of Rayo's. I got a veggie tray per Troy's request. He said he's been eating a lot of veggies and dip at night. $11.99, and it comes with the dip. So I grabbed that. I decided to pick up the Laughing Cow light cheese wedges. These were, I think, six or seven dollars for four. Yeah, four packs, which is a really, really good deal. I've been trying to watch my fat a little bit more, and this is really good spread on crackers. I really like this when I make a snack plate to put with crackers and cheese, so I picked that up. And then we were completely out of Troy's peanut butter. I prefer Jif. I think, I don't think he cares either way, but they only had Skippy, so I grabbed the two pack. I found these oatmeal and pumpkin dog treats. These have nice, clean ingredients, so I grabbed those. And then we were out of sandwich size and gallon size Ziploc bags, and this variety pack was just a better deal overall because you receive all four sizes of Ziploc. I got the dogs another one of their eight-in-one multi benefit soft chew supplements. We're almost out of the bag that we have. Peaches, because we love peaches, and this was $8, which is a excellent deal. And then I was shocked at the price of raspberries, $2.99. I saw them for $7 at Walmart. So that's a great deal. So I picked up two. So that is everything from Costco. Let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the haul. Oh, I did get a case of water as well. So here is the rest of this week's grocery haul from my fry store, which is a Kroger store. First up is ricotta cheese. We are doing a meal train for our boot camp instructor. She just has a lot going on right now, so a bunch of us signed up to bring her family meals, and I'm going to make her a big pan of lasagna. So I picked up some ricotta cheese for that. Some little mini danishes, pastries, whatever these are. These were $1.25, I think, for cherry. These are really good. They're just a nice little sweet treat. I also got some paper plates because I had a coupon and we need paper plates. Lots of cheese. I did grab some light shredded mozzarella and light Mexi Mexican blend, and then whole milk mozzarella. This is for the lasagna, and then I figured if I needed more mozzarella, I could use the reduced fat, and then the reduced fat is for us, along with the light Mexican blend. I did get some Italian sweet cream creamer. I swear I got the zero sugar, and I didn't. I just got the regular, which is fine. I mean, the ingredients aren't good in either the regular or the zero sugar, but they're definitely better in the regular. So I'm going to go ahead and just deal with the regular rather than the zero sugar. And then I needed some beef broth for a recipe, so I opted for bone broth just for the extra protein. We are going to a Halloween party tonight, actually, and I'm going to make some Halloween brownies. So I picked up this kit because it has the brownie mix and the frosting, so it's just a lot easier. I'm going to add some pumpkin to this and a few other fun ingredients to jazz it up, but I'm going to bring some brownies to the party. And then, if you guys remember, I got this before I went to California and it was like $7 or something for the mix. And I said it was really good, just really expensive. Well, I found it on clearance for $3.25. So I grabbed it again. It is really good and I'm planning on taking this with me when I go to Texas in just a couple of days. So I'm going to bring that along as a trail mix. And then I did get some oven ready lasagna noodles, of course, for the lasagna. And I needed apple cider for a recipe. I'm making donuts in my meal prep. And then whatever's left over, Troy can just drink as apple juice. I did grab a two pound pack of 93% ground beef because it was on sale for $9.74. I either cook it right away or throw it in the freezer. So getting reduced meat, in my opinion, is such a great deal. And Kroger stores really have the best reduced meat section. So I picked that up. 
Speaking of reduce, they have these eggs for $2.69. I am waiting on the lady in our community that has chickens for farm fresh eggs, but until she has enough for us, we usually order three dozen at a time. I do need these for my meal prep and then also for a few other recipes. They have their cans of soup. If you buy five, they were $1.50 a piece. And Troy likes to have soup and sandwiches. And especially with me being gone this next week, this will be really easy for him to have for lunch or dinner. So I have a hearty chicken and rotini, a tomato basil, that way he can do tomato soup and grilled cheese. This one sounds good. This is beef pot roast with country veggies. And then I did grab just a traditional chicken noodle. And then lastly, a clam chowder. I needed a can of Rotel for a recipe and then also pumpkin for the brownies and for my meal prep. Canned pumpkin right now is $1.50 at Kroger, which is a great deal. And then I did grab Troy a can of chili. We've never tried this brand, Denison's, but it was on sale for $1.99. So I picked one up, thought he could try it. If he likes it, I'll buy some more this next week. I did get two gallons of skim milk for him. And then just a little bit of produce. Most of my produce came from Costco. He loved the veggie tray that I got at Costco. It's already gone, so he asked for another one. He, it's a great way for him to get in vegetables. And then it comes with the ranch, the Hidden Valley Ranch dip. And I wanna say it was $9.99, so really, really good deal. I did also pick up some bananas. I wanna be able to have bananas as a fruit this next week. And I love a banana sliced up on peanut butter on a rice cake one of my favorite snacks. So I grabbed some bananas. I am using spaghetti squash in my lunch meal prep. And then I grabbed some more avocados. I've been really trying to eat avocado every day. So I picked up another bag of avocados. I did also grab two packs of Gatorade Zero, three packs of Diet Coke for Troy, and that is this week's haul. So let's go ahead and jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see in meal prep. Here's what is on my menu for this week. So today, Saturday, we actually are going to a Halloween party but I just put it as out to dinner. Tomorrow, I'm going to make sloppy joes. Monday, I'm doing a one pot taco spaghetti. Tuesday, I'm doing crock pot potato soup. I reverse these because I actually leave Wednesday for Texas, so I'm gonna have several days of leftovers. I'm going to make a few things in advance, the crock pot potato soup and the one pot taco spaghetti for Troy so that he has some dinners and lunches while I'm gone. I'm going to be meal prepping on Monday because like I said, I'll leave everything for him. He'll eat it while I'm, on, while I'm traveling. So I'm going to make some pumpkin bread. I'm really excited for that. For lunch, I'm doing a chicken bacon ranch spaghetti squash. Also excited for that. And then I'm going to do baked apple cider donuts. Also excited. It's going to be a really good meal prep. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned for Monday. Thank you for joining me for this week's massive grocery haul. We are all stocked up. We are good to go. I am going to have to do a Sam's Club run probably in the next few weeks. I typically visit one of those stores every month, whether it's Costco or Sam's Club, but we are good to go for quite a while. We have some healthy food on hand and lots of good recipes coming your way. So if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a video. And don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come on over, join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching. Happy Saturday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.